Hey dolls, so this is going to be a video. I'm gonna show y'all. This is like a mega doll pickup, okay? So if you were on Instagram at Doll World Shows, you have seen my boxes. Make sure that you subscribe. I went to my old city, you know, on this weekend to drop my daughter off and I had to come back with things, with doll things, because y'all know we turned up for real Barbies of Atlanta season two is not a game. I know I've been talking about it, but I had to have everything. So as you can see, look at how much doll stuff I, I, I left behind. All right, this ain't even everything, but this is a lot of it. This is about 80%, no, nah, this is about 70% of everything that has been left behind. So this is just gonna be a quick doll haul, you know? This is, a, this is not new things, these are my old things, but look at all this stuff that I had to go pick up. So I'm gonna just go through this video and show you different doll things that I got. It was so many things that I was missing for real, Barbers of Atlanta season two. Um, I had to get certain dolls I was missing. I'm talking about key characters, key players on the real Barbers of Atlanta. So as you can see, it's so many things that I had not been able to release as far as videos over the past two years. And I have a lot of things that I need to unbox that I never even had the chance to unbox and I didn't open them because I didn't get to do it on Doll World shows. So this is gonna be a quick video haul. Make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned, Real Barbers of Atlanta season two drops this week, family. And we about to get So it. first things first, look at these yep. accessory packs that I was not able to open. I missed these and it was crazy because I was trying so hard. I was like tempted to buy things that I knew I already had. And I was like, no. So my dad helped me in storage. Like, look at these accessory packs that we still have to open. I did buy one of these. As y'all can see, um, I opened one right here. This is the one that I was underwhelmed with because I was so excited. Oops. I was so excited about this. And it's empty in the back. Like, I hate that type of stuff. Come on, Mattel. Like, you can just make the whole thing plastic. So I can't, you know, use it. Like, let's say I have a scene. I can't have it like this in the scene because that look, just looks trash. So I have to have it up against the wall. So I'm not really, I wasn't overwhelmed with that. I was underwhelmed with this accessory piece. And I also ended up spray painting certain things. So I'll show y'all. I already unboxed this, but now I guess I have another one. And look at this. I have another one of these. I have this picnic table that I'm like, oh my God, yes. Of course, our little fruit thing. A painting station because my dolls love to paint like me. And look at this guy. Check him out. This is the shaving dude. He looks like Ricky Martin. I'm like, he is so handsome. So I have some bodies for him. That's going to be another man in turn doll world shows. That's a modern play kitchen set that I had bought the first one. Now I did end up buying another one. But the good thing about it is now I have two of them. So um, I can use that for different sets in two different doll houses. So two of my dolls are going to have some really dope kitchens. That was a five piece pool party that I got from Walmart. And I think those were like $9. This is another one. I didn't know I had two of these, but I'm happy that I have it because I love that fish tank. This was a My Life accessory pack that I had gotten um, a little while ago. And when I tell you that's one of my favorite My Life accessory packs. So, of course, Grace has a fish tank. But I'm like, now I'll be able to put a fish tank for somebody else. A few of these, which are perfect because they can have girls night. Of course, Grace has one as well. So, I've already opened one of these. But I'm excited because the girls can have girls night. It could be like a few of my girls doing their feet, their pedicures. You know, remember this little fat, this accessory pack? I know y'all probably like, okay, yeah, I remember these came out about a couple years ago. <laughs> and then, of course, these are just clothes that I never got to open. Accessory packs that I didn't get to open some of these I have but especially for the kins like sometimes I buy more than one because They don't make that many clothes for kin anyway So I like to just have multiple ones so that at least all my kin dolls can have change of clothes So these are different fashion packs. We're gonna open and Another thing is I have a lot of new fashion packs as well So I actually have an upcoming video this week that I'll be posting where I'm going to open up all the fashion packs and put them on all the dolls, okay? So we're going to bring our little models out, put the accessory packs on the doll. Y'all remember some of these? I'm so excited. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I didn't even know that I had this one. I'm very excited about that. I'm like, that's going to be so cute. I can see Grace in that gold skirt. She's going to like love it. And then I, had, I didn't know I had two of these. I'm happy I got two of those. Look at my cat just being rude, family. TT. Her name, TT. Her real name, Tiana, like Princess Tiana, but she's being so rude right now. Like, TT, really? She's my new kitten because, family, when I caught COVID, my cat died. My cat, 13 years past, so I do have a new kitty who's just like my old kitty. So, yeah, that's a side note, but 
Apparently she likes this outfit. TT, they can't see the outfit. <laughs> TT. So she likes this outfit. Look, what, what you, who you trying to bite? You want to fight TT? Because you know I got them cat hands. You hear me? Look, girl. So anyways, look, TT, you know I got them cat hands now. You're not ready. So <laughs> these are some um, other fashion packs that we're going to open. Then check this out. Oh, this is another thing, too. I had to get Barbie's house. So Barbie's house is back in the building. I'm still missing, like, two of my dollhouses are in storage. But I had to get this one. Come on now. You know? So Barbie's house is back. You know Barbie got to have her home on the real Barbies of Atlanta. Then we have the boat set. Okay? I, I was missing the boat. We got the motorcycle from the... My I think, what was it? Not the My Scene dolls, but I can't remember. Oh, there's also another box. There's, like, two boxes like this. This is full of my cardboard play sets. Shouts out to y'all. Everybody know my froggy stuff. So, you know, we started making all types of doll stuff with the cardboard because my froggy brought it to the scene. So, these are a lot of my cardboard furniture sets. I just didn't want to take those out yet. But that's what this box is. And then this is also some other little random doll stuff. But I have two boxes like this, family. Two boxes like that that's filled with dolls that have not been opened. So, when my father brings my daughter... They're going to drop off the two boxes for me. So, in that, to make a long story short, I told y'all giveaways is coming. So, soon, I'm going to be giving away some of them dolls that's in two of them boxes because I just have a lot of dolls, you know. And I, I have enough that I already have my favorite dolls, so I don't need all the dolls, right? But, check this out. I ain't even get to tell y'all when this came, when these came out, I had got her. I want to say I got, like, three of these dolls. So, I already opened her and used her body for one, but... I got two more, so that's two more made to move dolls. Oh, so happy to have camping fun. She was in my city, so I was excited about that. Um, and then this is a fashionista that I never got to open. I think she's so cute. Like this, what set was she with? So she was with these people. You see what I'm saying? I have from all these fashionistas, let me see. Um, from all these fashionistas, we had him, her, him. Her, I think I had got two of her. We have him. Oh, I ain't have her. She cute. I don't think I never seen her. We had him multiple times. Um, I think I might have got him. I think I did get him. And then we did get him. We got her. I put her on a curvy made to move body. We have her a couple times. We definitely had him a few times, and we had him. So I remember when these came out. I think this was the last. This was when I started to stop collecting all the fashionistas, and I just started getting the ones that I really like. So I guess she was like the deluxe edition from that. So we have her. Check this out. Made to move skater. I thought I opened all my made to move skaters. So we still have her up in the building. And I, I don't know if I'm going to swap her head. I might just keep her actually on this body because I'm like... I think I use her body for everything else, but I'm like, I think I'm going to just keep her on this body because this is supposed to be her mama. That's a side note, but Holiday Barbie that I never got to open. Love Holiday Barbie. I think I might not open her, though. I might keep her as a collector doll. Another made-to-move curvy that I'm excited about. This made-to-move curvy was the one that I put, um, this one. The one, this one, I put this girl right here on this made to move curvy body so that's the one that fits her complexion in case you're interested the complexion of that doll then we got baseball player made to move barbie so i'm like hey i need her body for some of my dolls we got this fashionista from this line i had him i had her a few times i still got one of her that i gotta open for another doll to swap um I don't think I got her. No, I didn't get her. I got him because I had needed to replace Matt right quick. And then I got him like a few times. And then obviously we got her. So these are the only ones from this little collection that I got. But we do have her. I think she's so pretty. I don't know who body I want to put her on. But I think this is a pretty doll. That's why I got her. She's like a pretty redhead. So we're definitely going to put her on a made to move body. Of course we had gotten her. I didn't even know that I got this guy, and I got two of him. I just don't know. Oh, the other one I opened. But I'm going to eventually put him on a body. I'm going to probably use a fresh doll to do a body swap for him. I don't know. I think he might be too dark for the maid to move Ken. Yeah, he's too dark for the maid to move Ken, but I'm going to put him on a fresh body. We have this guy, which I thought was just so cute. Like, check him out. I think he's cute. He has freckles. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely going to put him on one of the little um, 19 whatever 59 made some bmr 1959 
1957, whatever it is. I'm gonna put him on one of those bodies because he's like tan, so he probably will go with the the green hair guy. So I think he's cute anyways, but we have him, so he's gonna be another doll. And if I don't put him on one of those, look at what I got, family. I completely forgot that I got Owen. Now this is back when he was still a good price because some of these dolls that used to be like $19, if you look for them now on Amazon, they are thraxing for some of these dolls. But I got him for a good price. Like I got him back when he was probably like $21, $22. So we got two Owen. I might keep one of him um, to keep his head, you know, because he's not an ugly doll. Like, he's a cute doll. And then I'll probably use one of the other ones to do a body swap. And I'm like, he could definitely be body swap probably for this guy, you know. So we'll see. I got this doll because I thought she was just so pretty. Like, I loved her outfit. I like her little, um, what you call it? her singing doll stand i think that's just so cute and then like i said her outfit and then her complexion is so pretty so i'm gonna do a body swap on her i just gotta figure out which doll i'm gonna use to do a body swap on her i have two of these because i had got like a lot of these now y'all know these are like these came out a long long time ago this i think this was one of the first dolls that they actually had did with a with the afro we was all excited about that because that was the first little fashion used to with the afro i believe so I probably got like all these dolls. I do. The only one that I didn't get from this set was um Barbie. Because I'm like, she always looks the same. And I didn't like the outfit. But I had got all the rest of these dolls. So I have her and I'm happy that I, I got her again because I was doing a face paint on K in the recent past. And it just the my my super clear was just not sticking. So that whole face paint, I I just dropped it. So I'm like, I need to put put K's head back on her body <laughs> so um yeah anyways and then i thought this was just like the cutest little grace doll she is so pretty so i don't know how i'm gonna incorporate her i'm like obsessed with grace's face mold and i think this doll is just so cute like that looks like a younger version of grace so i'm gonna incorporate her some type of way but i thought this doll was so pretty and i don't know if i had got her from the dollar uh store or if i got her from walmart but i know i got her for like probably like four dollars then we have stacy so yes i have that stacy and this is actually going to be k's daughter because k's daughter has gotten older because y'all know come on real barbies of atlanta this is a recent thing i actually ordered this from mga um i have like so many omg videos that i gotta post that i had recorded a whole bunch of omg videos and i didn't get to post none of them last week but i'll be doing a lot of editing and posting this week and i got another one of busy bb because at first i didn't get that two pack and i had one of busy bb so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this doll i don't know if i'm gonna sell this doll i don't know if i'm gonna keep her clothes and just sell the doll i don't know if i'm gonna give her away i don't know if i'm a seller i don't know but i'm excited about this because this actually works I'm, I, I don't know about y'all, but y'all don't like, y'all don't love, <laughs> y'all don't love the, the remote control cars. Like, I always loved remote control cars. So, I'm like, yes, I finally got a remote control car. So, okay, that's a side note. Barbie Fashionista, she's super cute. I never got to open her. Let me see what set she was part of. Oops, a crashing. Okay, so she was part of that same set. So, I guess these were like the two special packs. I don't even know if they still do that. Do they still do that? Where they come out with the little, the, the, the dolls that are like the, the special edition of the, the series that comes with like a, extra clothes or whatever. But I liked her. I think she was super cute. So, yeah, we got her from that set and then we got her. I don't think I got the rest of the girls from that set the other two but we did get those two these are some little bitties that i got that i forgot that and i have a whole nother haul to like i'm gonna show y'all i have a drawer upstairs in my daughter's room that just has like a whole bunch of the like barbie skipper dolls so i'm gonna show y'all my collection one of these days but yeah we got some barbies we got some babies check out chloe and cameron <laughs> i bought this on amazon a minute ago and um yeah, so y'all already know how Chloe get down. I ain't even gonna spill no beans. But I had to pick this one up for my storage. But I think that is just the cutest set. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. And if they do, I know they're probably like selling this for way more than I purchased it for a couple years ago. So I did get that set. It's funny because I don't even know if I want to open it. You know, like, I don't know if I'm going to open that. I don't. That's why I haven't opened it yet. That might just be one, just, you know, just one to look at, a collectible. Woo, okay, so let, let me come over here right quick. So these are dolls. Oh, 
Look, I'm gonna do a whole nother video where we're gonna go through these dogs. Family, this is a whole bunch of dogs. Let me, I'm gonna just show y'all the bag. Look at this. Now, y'all know how much dogs go for. Dogs are like $3 a piece when you go to Goodwill. These are extra dogs that I have. A lot of them just doll bodies, some of them with their head. Oh, look at Barbie's Barbie Mama. I didn't even know this Barbie Mama was here. This grandma right here. <laughs> Real Barbies of Atlanta. Hold on, grandma ain't supposed to be in there. But, um,. Look, look at this bag now, and it got like four or five real nice Ken dolls in here. I got this whole bag for $19, and when I got it, I, I really don't think I was supposed to get it for $19, but the way it was set up, I got all them dolls for $19. So y'all know, I, I remember when I got this, it was like literally right before my birthday, like two years ago, and I wanted to do a video on Doll World Show so bad, but guess what? It might be late, but we still opening up all them Goodwill dolls, okay? And we're going to be doing some repaints. We're going to be reestablishing them, giving them some makeovers, all that. And then look at this. This is some of my good dolls that I have put in a box carefully now. This was my first repaint. I gotta fix her lip. You know, this is our little Rihanna Claudine Wolf doll. I gotta fix her lip because something smudged on it. But look, these are my Disney Descendants dolls. These are my um, Bratz girls. I'm like, hey, like, yes, I need my Bratz. We got Sasha, we got Chloe, we got Jade. You, oh, this is my girl too, I think that's Megan. And then we got Jasmine, because I have most, you know, different ones of these dolls. And then look at our girl, Raya. I forgot about Raya. Then we have another Jasmine down there and another Chloe. So, and then the, the these types of little, um, whatchamacallit, Bratz girls. So, I'm like, yes, we got our Disney Descendants. I think I'm going to do a repaint on this one, though. I'm not sure. But I might do a repaint on one of the Disney Descendants. But, yeah, so we got our girls here. Then there's a whole bunch of linens, a whole bunch of doll pillows and doll sheets and stuff that I made. This is accessories. Um, I put all, it's like a lot of little accessories, so I gotta go through this stuff um, in here. That's like just a lot of little accessories for the kitchen, all types of little doll stuff. And then these are doll clothes that I have to organize again. Look at all my doll clothes. Like, I was feeling some type of way. I'm like, man, I can't even take pictures of my dolls on Instagram because they ain't got no clothes. <laughs> so I'm like, look at my doll clothes. Oh my goody. So I gotta organize the doll clothes again. Um, these are some more dog clothes that we have here. And I think these are for all my petites. Because I used to like organize my clothes like this for petite. This for curvy, regular size, and then Ken doll. So y'all can see this is a whole nother bag of clothes as well. And then check this out. These are some more clothes. So I got to organize all of this stuff. And these are my bins so that I could put them in there neatly. Because I had them organized until I moved. I had to rush and move. And then look at this. This is a haul that I had got from eBay, uh, eBay lot. Check that out. This is when I had first started doing repaints. And y'all know that I'm obsessed with the Wolf family. Like, of Monster High, I don't even play with Monster High dolls no more. But when I do, it's only the Wolf family. I love the Wolves. Okay, so we got Claudine, Howleen. We got Claude. And we got different ones of them. Then we got, I forgot what her name is, but I like her too. So... These are some more dolls. Ooh, I know this is a long video. But check it out. Check out our little dolls here. This is a doll that I have from like when I was a little girl. And this thing right here works. That's crazy. I had that doll probably since... TT, can you please leave me alone? I had this doll since probably like 19... In the 1990s, and that thing still worked. But I swapped their heads. This doll actually comes on that head. I don't know what I was thinking and why I swapped their heads. I really don't. But I did. And then this is one of our... I forgot what these dolls are called, but I have that whole squad. I left her on accident, so now we got her. I got him on another body now because I had refound him in the Walmart at Grotown. So he's actually on one of them fresh doll bodies. So I'm going to show y'all how he looked now. And... Yeah, these are just some dolls, family. These are dolls that I had to pick up. This is Grace's grandmother on her mother's side. Then we got some of our Ever After High men. We got, uh, what's his name? I, their names just slipped me. I'm like, is it Dexter? I don't remember what their names is, but we got them. Look at Matt and Ryan. I did already have Matt and Ryan because I had to rebuy these dolls, and I put them actually on the bodies that comes with the BMR 1957 but I think I like Matt and Ryan on this and please forgive this little debris because my my cat 
be my plants are right here and my cat be digging through my plants and it just he be she be getting dirt everywhere but this is matt and ryan so i think i actually like them on these bodies because i was just so obsessed with putting everything on the bmr body but i think i like matt and ryan on that body so that might free up my bmr bodies to put them on some of my other dolls and then look we have forgot the doctor you know Shouts out to Twilight. And then, you know, Barbie got a boyfriend. So, Barbie boyfriend is back. Then we got some little bitties. Then, this is one that I have forgotten. I was so hurt because y'all know one of my dogs got twins. They got a light skin one and a dark skin one. And I'm like, look, this the little light. They, they little, her little sister was missing. So, now, I'm not going to have to improvise too much for real Barbies of Atlanta because they kids is back. I was feeling some type of way that their daughter was missing. And then, whew, I wonder how long this video is. Look at all of this stuff. This is just doll furniture. So I got this set up like this because the doll's about to have a whole swap meet. <laughs> I feel like this when you go to the, you know, to the Goodwill and then you got the different furniture section, the Salvation Army. So the doll's about to come claim territory. So look at all of this furniture that I got, right? This is the drum set that come with our little drummer girl. We got some pianos. I have bought this from Goodwill. So that's going to be from one of my little bitties. We got the piano set. I actually went ahead and glued this in because this piece always used to fall out. So I just glued that with super, I mean not super glue, but with the hot glue gun so that would stop happening. Different furniture pieces that I've made and improvised on. I had bought this from Goodwill too because I thought that's just like a really dope coffee table. So yeah, check out our sets. Check out our little tear chairs. Y'all know that's Grace Daddy TV. He gonna be happy to get his TV back. Then we got kitchen sets. We got different tubs and... You know, this is the Doll by Grace Boutique that I'm working on. I promise I'm going to be done with her boutique, like, hopefully very soon. Hopefully within the next two weeks. And then these are just little sets. It's a little potty for the little kids. Kitchen, refrigerators. This is our little china cabinet that I can fix. I just I just need to put it together. And I'm probably going to glue certain pieces in this time. This is a kitchen set that I had repainted. Again, we got more table sets. We got little cash registers. This is one that I made, and then this is one that actually came with one of my Gloria play sets. We got beds. Oh my goodness, look. Beds, canopy beds. Chairs. This is like a little beanie, furry beanie bag that I used. This was actually a purse that I had when I was a little kid, but I had, I had, I had did it like this, put it inside out so that that could be like a little doll chair. So I had this since I was a little girl. And then we got this that goes in Barbie's house. We got the little crib, you know, the beauty station. These are the different things. Of course, we have this set. The other part of the set is upstairs because I took it upstairs. But I think I'm going to make a whole... Um, Y'all know that um, one of our girls, I, can't, I don't know, her name just slipped me. But she's going to have her own beauty salon. So that's going to be like by Grace's boutique and all that type of stuff so she's gonna actually have her store set up now for season two and um yeah so these are just different furnitures different things this is most of my doll stuff i'm probably gonna do some more videos because like i said um all these doll oh let me show y'all that's what i want to show y'all too so y'all forgive me it's a lot going on back here my love check out my big fig though look at my big fig oh my goody yeah, I love plants in case y'all didn't know. Maybe I have a plant channel one day. But these are these are some of my recent fashion packs that I wanted to show y'all. So all these fashion packs. Oh yeah, that's what it's they're called Wild Hearts Crew. So I got a whole bunch of Wild Hearts Crew fashion packs. Then we got Barbie Fashionista fashion packs. These are all the dolls. I did get Icy Girl, but I have to drop the Icy Girl tutorial. I just gotta um edit that video and then I drop that like ASAP. Probably that's gonna be right after this video. And we have just other little sets that I want to open. So I'm probably going to do like a whole, um, you know, a whole video like opening the Barbie fashion packs. And then y'all know we got our men's up in here. Come on now. Got a little review on the, on the hot toys. How I put them together and how I got all of them looking all fabulous like that. And then this is K. This is the one I was doing the repaint on. But the super clear was not sticking. Like I never had problems with super clear like that. But, um, I'm going to put one of these heads back on her body because y'all know that Kay is one of Grace's, um, is one of Grace's aunts. She can't be looking, you know, she can't be not in the picture. So, yeah. So, I'm excited. Then we have Ginger. This is a little Ginger place at Ever After High. Y'all know I love me some Ginger. 
so yeah this is everything that we picked up it took i was up doing this and putting these things like in order like this literally for about probably like five or six hours that night but now i'm gonna go ahead and put all the dolls where they go i'm gonna give y'all a doll tour so that y'all can see all my barbies because y'all know i love and i'm obsessed with omg but barbie gang is too deep i don't think that omg can make enough dolls in 10 years to catch up with the amount of Barbie game that I got. Because I got Barbies from the past when I was younger. And I got Barbies that, of course, we didn't collect it over the years. So, yeah, we got their clothes. I have so much things to do. My daughter is gone this week. She's with my parents. So, guess what we about to do? We are about to turn up as far as videos. I can just work completely day and night. <laughs> so, I love y'all. Let me know. What is your favorite thing in this doll haul this is like a late post doll haul that's how i feel like these this is all the backed up stuff when i was not posting on doll world shows this is all the stuff that i was buying for us behind the scenes and i just never had time to do videos but i waited see patience is a virtue praise the lord right patience is a virtue so i waited and now we're gonna be able to unbox all of this type of stuff together y'all know i got a lot of body swaps coming so i'm gonna do a body swaps video that's how I'm going to show y'all some of the made to move dolls. We're just going to do a whole body swap video. And then we're going to do a clothing haul so that y'all can just see the, the, the new fashion packs that I got mixed with the old fashion packs. We're going to get some of these boutiques together so that I can put all my dog clothes together neatly because it's a lot of clothes. And then Real Barbies of Atlanta is back in full effect because we got every single last one of the characters back home. So I love y'all. Let me know what is your favorite thing that you've seen in this little haul right here. Um... And let me know what type of videos y'all want to see moving forward. Which video are you most excited for? OMG, are y'all excited for the Barbie Fashionista fashion packs? Or do y'all want to see the made to move body swaps? I mean, Real Barbies of Atlanta season two. Let me know in the comments. Love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.